Oh, sorry. I just came back from my job in Harrods. <laughs> I am officially that babe. <laughs> Where does your mum work? Where does your dad work? <laughs> Where do I work? In Harrods, bitch. I am that girl. I am officially that girl. I work in luxury my phone cut off i work in luxury retail i am that girl no one can tell me Ish. no one no one nobody look at me do you know where i work i work in harrods you could never you could actually never like <laughs> i'm dealing with the richest of the riches who are you dealing with hmm huh fraud boys oh damn there, there. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> so what does that mean for me, you may ask? <laughs> wow, I'm going to be dealing with rich men, okay? So by the time I finish working, I should have secured myself a rich man. A rich boyfriend. Like, what do you think this is? In this life, you win only. I also have to do my makeup every day for work because i work in the beauty section of harrods so that's gonna be a lot <sighs> sorry what's that golden blink you ask oh it's just my harrods badge <laughs> a few moments later i got fired before i even did my first shift i got fired someone must have sent the video because i don't know how they how they would have found it um but yeah I, I never worked in Harrods, to be fair. I took that video after I attended the induction. So I never actually even worked my first shift. I never even visited the shop because it was in the headquarters. So, yeah. That was really sad. And I've learned a few valuable lessons from this, which I'm going to say in the rest of the video. Rule number one, don't ever tell good news to the internet. Or to even people, keep it to yourself. Guys, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't keep that information to myself. Like, I don't know what was wrong with me and why I even decided to post that. Because now, upon reflection, that was kind of a stupid video. And I was joking. I genuinely was joking. I didn't mean a word of what I was saying. I was genuinely just excited to work in Harrods. But I understand how it could have come across. And yeah, I don't blame Harrods for their decision. If I was a CEO, I probably would have fired me too. Um, but I don't know if it means I can never work in Harrods again or if it's temporary. I don't know. But um, yeah. Another lesson I've learned, be humble. Kendrick Lamar did not lie. Be humble. Because <laughs> you think it's all bright and green today. It can be dark and gloomy tomorrow. Tell God your plans. And, and he, what's that quote? And he will laugh or something like that. I really thought I was actually going to go on Monday for my first shift. And look what happened. <laughs> like, I could, if you don't laugh, you will actually cry. Like, I was so, so upset, but I'm over it now. Luckily, I have another job. Literally, I have another job now. And I'm still working in luxury retail. You're never going to know where I'm working now. But I'm still working. I've still got it. So don't try me. God is a good God. But, you know, tell him your plans and he'll throw them in your face. Um, what's another lesson that I've learned? Hmm. I do still feel like the hate I got from that video was really unnecessary though, because I, I, I don't know. It just, it was, I, I just don't understand how you guys didn't realise I was joking, but maybe everyone doesn't share my sense of humour or whatnot, but I'm not condoning the bullying that was happening in that comments. Like, you guys need to chill you're crying over a TikTok. I'm happy about my job. You guys need to chill about that because it really was never that deep. But yeah, I was debating whether I'm making this video or not because I don't want to hear it in the comments. I don't want to hear, oh, I told you so. Oh, good for you or laughing at me. I don't want your sympathy either. I don't know what I want, but I just feel like I need to make this video to let people know to not do what I did. I don't think anyone would do what I did anyway, <laughs> but just in case there are some morons in the world. <laughs> you know just no don't do that because you will get fired okay okay so yeah that job is no more it was fun while it lasted um guys i actually need you to understand my pain 
I had been booked seven shifts, seven good bloody shifts, and they all got cancelled. Oh, I was so sad. Because even in the job I'm working in now, there's not as much shifts. Sorry, I keep touching my lip because I feel like there's a hair on my lip. But yeah, there's not as many shifts with that job. So it's just like, ugh, it's annoying. But what can you do? What can you say? <sighs> yeah. It's just, it hurts more because I use my own hand to destroy it. Like, <laughs> if I didn't make that video, if I didn't do that, nothing would have happened. But maybe God is protecting me from something that I would have encountered or I could have encountered, you know, so everything, all I know is I'm a strong believer and everything happens for a reason. So yeah, that's the end of my video. Um, follow me. I'll be honest, the female had it coming. This had absolutely nothing to do with haters or people wanting your downfall. This is the state of black females today. All lazy and money hungry for the next rich man to come up with. All think they're better than average people, than average parents. It's typical female antics. And she was just being herself. It wasn't a joke, it was her being her. But because it backfired the way it did, she'll lie like females do. So many reasons why that one particular video led her to being fired. If you believe it was a joke, then you're either delusional or just a fool. She showed her backside to Harrods and they got rid of her. For all we know, it could have been an employee, it could have been a manager, it could have been the interviewer, it could have been a loyal Harrods client. Because what she did was let Harrod and Harrod's future client know is she's a dusty gold digging female outsourcing their clients to find a rich man. You need to understand this isn't good for business. But females today, they're so money hungry and obsessed with luxury lifestyle and obsessed with Becky and her lifestyle. You'll shoot yourself in the foot. Your poor mindset is always going to be your default. Nothing about what job you do, nothing about how much you make is going to change females' poor mindset. And it was revealed on that video how dusty this female is. There is no luxury job that is going to hire someone who will ruin their reputation and seeking out their loyal paying clients for their money. Not only that, but her whole attitude about the job is so arrogant. Why mention people parents? Why put others down for a job you haven't even started yet? No offense, but how dense are you? Once again, this is the state of black females. The dating scene is the forefront of the effects, but everything else will trickle down with it, just like this job did. So many ways it could have even went or been said. She could have said, looking forward to meeting new people, looking forward to starting a new career. No, this dusty female is drooling over rich clients that shop in Harrods. It truly is dusty behavior. You want to talk about people's parents and their average job. Meanwhile, you go back to your average home, back to your average lifestyle, doing an average job. Working for rich people doesn't mean you're above average. It just lets everyone know how poor you are. Key word, you're working for them. You're not working with them. Harrods and Harrods clients is who you're working for and serving their clients. Nothing to boast about. You're another average retailer sales advisor in customer service which is why she got fired she wasn't special she wasn't anyone important she was expendable just a number and they fired her to let her know they don't approve of her message they don't approve of her mindset and they don't approve of the reason why she's there and all i got to say to that she got what she deserved a lot of females are going to find themselves being put in their place, not just in a dating scene. It's just a matter of time. 
I'm your hostess, Reminate Princess. These are my last thoughts. What you have is females really do believe that they're better than average people. And they really do believe that they deserve a high value man to get what they want without having to do anything for it. And they don't realize no one actually approves of this mentality and this behavior. They will pay you to do your job for them, but that's as far as it goes. No one's trying to marry you or have that type of mindset close to them. Not enough to ruin their business and reputation. So Harris did what they had to do. Let me know what you think. I would also like to take the time to give a big shout out to my supporters, Bernard Gohard and Mr. Boring Man for your support really does make a huge difference to the channel as it helps me be able to invest and gives me more time to give more time to the YouTube channel and to continue to bang out these videos. So thank you so much. It's very much appreciated. Shout out to you guys and stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Bye!